of it, it's a, it's a shame there has to be a losing team today. What, what are your overall thoughts? I think it's a good summary. I think it was a great game, a lot of tempo in the game. I think the audience is the big winner of this game, uh, two top teams. Uh, but yeah, a final, as of course we are disappointed uh, when you lose this game, and then especially in a really late stage of the game. And yeah, it can't happen. So I think all the goals uh, we concede today, yeah, that uh, our mistakes can't happen. Can't happen? How do you stop it happening? What do you do to prevent it? I think we were we were a period I just sat in the dressing room. We were better in this. Uh, um, even last week, uh, we were so uh, hard to beat in such situations. And today, we were not. Uh, if you concede, if you see the three goals, I think they are all, we could afford them. It looked at times at the back, because of the pace of the game, slightly chaotic in defence. Is there anything you can do to stop Arsenal when they're playing like that? They are very good on the ball, and, uh, but we are a good defending team as well. And I think there were not a lot of open chances. And uh, what I say, the, the first two goals, uh, starting with the corner, and uh, we're making mistakes, we can't make them. And I said before, this game will decide by details, and there were so small details, but then the final was also the decision maker in the game. And uh, that is hard to accept, but we have to accept today, and we have to learn from it. That's the downside of it. Tell us the positives. You've just run the league leaders very, very close. Clear, but I don't want to think about it. I want to win. and um, So it's not good enough. And we want to be the number one. And so if we make mistakes, we have to be clear. And that's what I'm telling you now. Thanks, Eric. Okay. Thank you.